Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll learn how to migrate a WordPress site from a hosting A to hosting B. Let's get started with it. So all of us would have migrated a website from our demo environment to a live server. So this is the first time we are trying to learn how to migrate it directly from server A to server B with the help of plugins. So the traditional method or the conventional method would be is to export your database and copy all your PHP files from the demo environment to the new hosting server via FTP upload the files there, change the config settings and uh, change the uh, database parameters and import the database into the uh, demo environment or to the new environment. That's how we've been working all these days. And uh, to make it faster or to make it like even more uh, easier, we are going to use a plugin today named as Duplicator. This is a really efficient plugin and we'll see in today's video how to deploy it and how to migrate the site easily with the help of it. So for a demo, I'm just trying to make a replica of my site, which is here in this uh, domain anandji.com. Uh, ignore this site, this is just a dummy site of mine, so you can completely ignore this. Um, I'm just trying to go to the admin dashboard, go to the plugin settings, and I'm going to look out for a plugin named Duplicator. Search as uh, Duplicator. You will be able to see this plugin popping up here, the one with the million plus active installation. Try installing that one and click on, click on install. And uh, once the installation is complete, uh, you will be able to see. Um, all right, so uh, hit on that uh, activate button. You'll be able to see this screen popping up. So that's the screen where we are going to do the settings options and things here. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, click on the duplicator. I'll be able to see a brand new uh, setup here been deployed. Click on the create new button on the right side and give a name to your uh, a zip file whatever you're going to create and uh, once you click on that you'll be able to see the uh, storage settings where this file is going to be stored um, this is the default location where your uh, backup files are going to be stored and at the bottom you will be able to see your archive.zip where uh, it shows you the list of files say for example you don't want to like backup um, a huge directory of images or uh, a repository of uh, audio files or video files you just want to move it directly from server a to server b or if you have a copy there, you can just uh, exclude those folders alone or you'll be able to um, get rid of those. So enable the options and you'll be able to take up an option of uh, the exact folders which you want to duplicate. And uh, at the next option, we have an option of database where we'll be able to export the specific databases alone. And I'm trying to click on uh, all the pages here, whatever is available on my demo server. And it scans my site completely. I'm just uh, saying that the system, you will be able to see that uh, once the scan is complete, you'll be say, seeing a screen like this where you can see the system is all ready to be um, backed up. You will be able to see a green tick on everything. It will show as good. At times when there are some errors, it will be showing an option as uh, in uh, amber or in uh, red. At that times you need to sort out those. Make sure that it's showing up uh, good on everything. The size check is showing a notice symbol because that's just an alert to you stating there's a huge file size which is there in it. So you can continue to ignore that and um, just try to click on see. the next tab which is the build. So clicking on build will take quite some time because it's going to create a zip of your complete, uh, the complete environment, the demo site, whatever you have built. So it takes up quite some time when it is time to create the archive. So once the archive is done, you will be able to download the entire zip file of whatever is there in your uh, demo server. So now it's taking up some time. And once the, uh, 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 the duplication is done, once the archive is created, you will be given up with an option of two files. One is your archive.zip, which is the complete uh, archive of your entire files. Another is the installer. This installer contains all the parameters which is necessary or uh, essential for you to deploy it on your new environment. So that will have your config files or the settings or the site URLs or whatever information is needed. All those informations are there in your uh, installer file. So uh, download both the files. You can click on them, download both the files and uh, you will be able to uh, take your uh, drive locations wherever you want to save your files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these files, whatever I've created now, the duplicator as well as the installer. These two files are like primary. I'm going to copy these into my uh, Bluehost account. I'm going to transfer from server A to server B. So what I'm going to do is I'm logging into Bluehost and I'm going to create a new demo environment there. 
So for example, I'm going to create up a new folder there with the name as uh, new site. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a new folder here as new site. So under the new site, I'm just copying. There's a whole new folder. There's nothing inside this folder. So this is totally empty. Inside the folder, I'm going to copy these two files, the zip as well as the uh, installer. And after you do that, uh, hit on the install.php, call that file from the public URL. So once you do that, I'm trying to upload the files here with an FTP or from the cPanel itself, you'll be able to upload them. So once you have done that, try running that installer.php file and you'll be able to see the installation is like getting started. Before doing the installation, we need to create a database as well because that is the uh, primary thing which is going to ask when the installation is about to start. So from the uh, admin cPanel, I'm just creating a new database but I'm going to deploy this uh, zip file archive. So I'm creating a database along with the username and passwords. So after you have created the database, just keep them handy and uh, click on that uh, duplicator installer. So the deployment screen will show something like this, where it will give you an option as uh, where do you want to deploy it with the database name as well as your... Uh, so it's going to show you a screen where you'll be able to see the database connection as well as your uh, host string as well as the database information. Fill in with all the information and click on validate. You'll be able to see a screen like this where it's showing up a pass on all the screens. And uh, once this is done, click on uh, accept and click on next. So what happens is the entire zip files now get uh, extracted again and it all gets stored into your demo environment now, the new hosting site, the new site, whatever you have done there. So the zip is uh, extracted there and uh, you'll be thrown up a screen like this where you'll be able to log in with the credentials whatever you used on your old site so you'll be able to see uh, admin dashboard with a replica of whatever is there on your old server and the complete list will be here as well and after that you'll be able to see an alert at the top where it shows up uh, the complete migration has been done do you want to delete your uh, uh, the zip file as well as the installer it's always essential or like uh, vital to delete those informations because with that anybody can download your files or try to hack your site so always uh, delete those duplicated files. And now that you've got the new site, all you just need to do is log into the admin panel and you need to change uh, the permalink settings. So those are nothing but the settings of your site URL as well as how the uh, page links and the post links are going to be. That's your categorization office. Those are the canonical forms. So you'll be able to change them as well. So after you do that, you'll be able to see that both the sites are now showing up. One is the replica of the uh, other one. So that's an easiest and the most effective way of uh, transferring uh, a site using Duplicator. And there are some additional features as well which are available in uh, Duplicator, the pro version of it. If at all you have a file size which are huge or like uh, 2 gigs of size, your demo site is over 2 gigs and you want to transfer them, we can use uh, a pro version of Duplicator to migrate those. And if at all you wanted to use uh, help of an uh, third-party storage services like Dropbox or any other FTP accounts, you'll be able to configure them as well in the pro version. So if you like this video, do share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.